so uh, leather so workshop and this is our first project and um, I'm well we all are making a purse everything you do should have a pattern you always plan a pattern on the half and by on the half I mean you pull, fold a piece of paper in half create a very sharp edge create your pattern and when transfer the marks through open it out cut it out and you've got a pattern on the half so I've now completed my first project which is a nice little purse and if you look carefully you can see where I started and my stitching wasn't great but then hopefully as you go around you'll see that I improved finished my purse and now I am making um, like a leather little bowl and what we're going to learn here is um, how to cut the leather, how to scribe I think it is called the edges, to hand dye it and then we're going to soak it and mould it. Uh, then I think this afternoon we're making a sheath for a knife which basically ties in so here we've learned how to do the stitching here we learn how to do the scribing and the dyeing and the moulding and then this afternoon we put those three techniques together and end up with a sheath for a knife. So this stage is the dyeing stage um, and as you can see I'm trying two different colours um, and just seeing how thick you need to put it on, the different ways you can put it on, you can, you can stroke it on, you can dob it on. So this is really just a play time. Uh, the lines of the leaves are, have you got the tool there, Rob? It's called a crease. It's called a crease, apparently. So what we did was we heated this up and then you just push it in to the leather and it makes those lines for you. This is going to be a um, sheath for a knife. And mine's going to have a nice little sure scallop on it. There. And then the this little bit here is the fillet. Pull that again. And what I've done here is I've, with a scratch all, I've just marked out where I'm now going to cut the leather. This is going to, making the sheath, we'll use all, apparently we've learned about 17 techniques today, um, and this is going to tie them all together. So at this stage, it's obviously uh, pattern marking and cutting, then we're going to go on to um, gluing and stitching, and then we've got to shape it in the water. So it's pulling all those techniques together, and we'll end up with a nice sheath cover. Yesterday was good, um, a lot of hard work, but um, really uh, surprised with how much we achieved um, and really pleased with that. We made three things, um, which was a little purse, a little bowl, and then this sheath. Um, and then today we get the choice of making what we'd, whatever we want. So, um, but yesterday was very good. What are we up to? Uh, we are now just finishing off the sheath that I made earlier. Um, well, yesterday, um, tidying up the edges, and then we're going to stain them, and then we're going to shape them. Uh, we're actually going to shape the whole thing in some water. So, um, but that's what I made yesterday. We're pattern cutting, or drawing pattern cutting at the moment. So this is uh, what we're making, but we're going to make it slightly um, bigger. And Rob is just helping me draw the pattern out, so scale the pattern out um, for that. Can you cut cut it out now? Yep. With and leave that piece in, and I'll show you what happens next for us to determine how low that comes. Okay, so I'm just going to cut straight straight out. across there. So you, you know one, you know everything else. It's the pattern first, for that the size bag. Glue both sides of the stitch. I'm now scaling that bag up a little bit, which involves, very, I won't go through all the, and what I want to do is make it that much bigger. So we're just going to cut out now another pattern. Um, I have now finished making my pattern, 
So what we did is we scaled up from this pattern. Okay. You've got the I've transferred it onto the leather, right. cut the leather out, the middle of this. and now what I'm doing and is I'm just uh, keying the edges where I'm going to glue um, before I stitch. So it's just a question of sandpapering the edges, just so that the, the glue sticks to it. The interest in leather work is that uh, because of my health, okay, so I can't do as yeah? uh, much physical work as I used to be able really to do. Really so um, I'm so looking for something for? that uh, perhaps utilises yeah. some of the Have skills that I've learned before, sponges in the but the is, um, yeah. it's a bit lighter in. on the I body. Be so um, leather work cup seems cup to fit that. You don't have to, your actual raw material isn't quite as heavy as wood. And yeah, yeah that's it. So that's what I'm looking for, is something that it allows me to still be creative, use a natural material, um, but is a little bit lighter on my body. The process now is that we're stitching up our seams. And uh, Rob's very kindly started me off on that one. So we stitch across there and then we're coming down here, back up here along there and then we'll actually tie it off with that bit of thread that's left there. So this is just putting the holes in. So I've just finished sewing the t-shaped bag and you can see why it's called a t-shaped bag. So that's all done and now is there a, is there a little knack for turning it inside out just go for it just go for it Roll so we're going to turn it inside out look at that uh, this is going to go on uh, the front of my new push bike comme ça i'll be like that <laughs> and that will just hold all my little nicks and knacks and what's the next process? The next process then is, um, you better ask Rob, <laughs> but I would imagine uh, is we're just going to curve this off, give it a nice curve, two poppers on there so that we can popper it shut and then what I'd like to do is put two straps on the back that have got like a buckle in them so that I don't have to leave it on my bike, I can slip on, slip off. Uh, we are putting on, is the technical term a popper or snap. snap? We're putting on snaps to the bag. So as you can see the bag is nearly finished. I've just stained my edges here and now I'm gumming them and I'm just gumming a little bit this side as well because just to stop this uh, soft leather from fraying and this stiffens it all up and protects it a little bit from my understanding. And there we are, my bag nearly finished, just the straps on the back to go. Very pleased, never thought I'd get that finished in a weekend, let alone a day, um, and learn all the techniques to repeat it at home should I want to.